17 minutes after the top of the hour, if you're just waking up, it's a fact of life. If you want to make money, you got to pay taxes, too. And for the average American, that's 20 to 30 percent of your weekly check. But for Internet search giant Google, its profits are only taxed at, get this, 3 percent. So how do they get away with that? Ed Butowski is a managing partner at Chapwood Investments, and he claims that Google's tax tricks aren't even against the law. They're actually the norm. Yeah. Good morning to you, Ed. Good morning. So uh, how does it work? Well, you know, it's very sophisticated tax planning. But remember, as long as corporations are judged based on their profitability, we're going to continue to see this as well. We have a 35% corporate income tax rate in this country. And uh, you don't see that anywhere else. I mean, Canada is about 15%. And Google has used Bermuda, which is about, I think it's about 9%. And as a result of that, you're going to see more and more companies do this. And they've been doing it for years. This is not a new thing. The key here, Gretchen, is that Google didn't defer taxes. They completely avoided about $2 billion worth of income to the United States government by doing this. And it's not just Google, though. Oh, no. It's We're talking about other massive American companies that are right. doing this. So is this specifically the discussion of what the Speaker of the House, John Boehner, has been talking about? Mm -hmm. When he has offered President Obama in an olive branch, look, we'll close some of these tax loopholes. Is That's that right. what he's talking about? That's exactly what he is. He's talking about that on the personal tax returns and corporate tax returns. And you know what? If they do that, they will save a lot of money. The problem is when we see, when we hear information like this, it's very tough for people to really get perspective and really understand exactly what's taking place. So we certainly just hear headlines. We say close tax loopholes and we won't explain exactly what they are because they're confusing. But the American public needs to know that if these loopholes are closed, we will bring in incredible amounts of money because it's not just Google, it's Amazon, it's Yahoo. And remember this, it's General Electric. All of these companies use these loopholes because they're judged based on profitability. We're going to continue to see this until we change our tax I code. just want to show quickly uh, how some of these universities and companies have given to uh, different administrations. Yeah. This was the Obama 2012 campaign, okay? University of California, uh, over a million dollars. Microsoft Corporation, 761,000. Google, 737,000, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What do they get in return, Ed, for giving that kind of money? Well, one thing they get is they usually, as opposed to what we're doing now, bringing you know, attention to this, usually they just continue to do this in a vacuum and no one talks about it. I mean, I'd love to see the president stand up and say, Google has, we have a problem. Google avoided paying $2 billion worth of taxes and we need to change that. The president of the United States isn't going to do that. In addition, sometimes you see these ambassadorships. I mean, you know, everyone is, you know, Schmidt has been rumored to be an ambassador. I don't believe he'll do that. But there's always a little bit of handshaking and it goes on both sides of the political parties. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because instead the discussion has been about the 1%, the American individual, instead of these businesses that are avoiding all of That's taxes. That's right. Ed Butowski, great to see you and great analysis. Thank you. Thank you.